I am back at uh, my favorite fishing spot in the state of Maryland. Well, my side, our side of the state of Maryland, and I'm not sure if fish were put in here or not. It's the first Sunday morning <clears throat> in March, and I was able to get down here, probably on a mile hike with my surgically repaired foot and hip. It rained a lot yesterday and the day before, or our steady rain, so the water is off color, and I'm not sure if they have been put in here. I'm fishing with my spare set of waders as the other ones developed a leak. I've just uh, put on a different zebra midge where the hook is more exposed, and maybe that's a, a 20 in the previous one's a 22, and it's about 10 inches below this mop fly. And I'm going to also make um, this just a tad deeper here. I've caught one. I've had, I think, three takes. There was a fish, and he was, I didn't even feel him till the very end. And he ate, uh, I, right in front of me. I pulled the hook. How do you like that? He ate the zebra midge too. He was right in front of me. They haven't touched the mop fly. That's so, so interesting. I may change over here. Sometimes you figure they may see the mop fly. I bet you I've had four or five takes and I've caught one fish. All right, I'm gonna really set the hook on this one. It's a nice brown. It's just right in front of me. We shall have to use the net on this one. Beautiful, beautiful fish. And he ate the mop fly, I can see that from here. He's right at my knees. There he is. That's a nice, nice fish. Oh. Boy, happy to have him, that's for sure. How lucky am I? And this is a fall fish. Look at the size of him. This thing's like a tarpon. Wow, he's really, he's really fighting. And he ate that little midge. Boy, he's big. And I got the hook, and I, the hook's just in the side of him, too. Uh, he probably took a swipe at this. He's So I've got this on now, and uh, This is gonna sink pretty quickly, it's heavy. There's a lot, a lot of water in here, so the flow's modest. And I'll know in five or six casts if they're gonna to touch this or not. Oh, one just followed it, and I think I got him. I did. One just followed it. He's right at my feet. That's crazy. I just kind of pulled back as best I could. I 
I've lost too many. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this fish. Another good stock round trout. Boy, he just came right up to me. The advantage of standing in the water like this is I don't have to use the net for a fish like this. And Beauty. See you, buddy. Boy, I, I almost set that on sight. I'm watching the end of my fly line to see it twitch. Like that. I saw it twitch. Ah, uh, bad strip. I lost my finger. All right. Another beautiful brown. I just want to reiterate, if I don't have to use the net, given I'm standing at my thighs in the water even a little deeper, then I don't want to use my net. I think it puts more stress on these fish. I should do a better job handling him right about here. But one, I don't want to put a hook in my hand. Got him. I use a little rod holder on my left side, if you guys haven't figured that out yet. It's, uh, thank you, buddy. It's one of the best things I use. I forget who makes it. Um, you see me use it all the time. It's, a lot of people put rod between their arms, underneath their arm and their leg and places like that. And I just literally can put it in this holder. And that twitch too. Boy, it's hard to see that fly line. I mean, the stream's doing almost all the work. Right in front of me again. A littler fish, it is a brown. Again, that rod holder. You can create different angles with it. Beauty. Bug, do your thing. Ooh, boy, he just came up and missed it. And that was easily the biggest one I've seen today. All right, let's get Zertle to be a Zertle. That is big. Look at the bend in my rod. My goodness gracious. I want, boy, that doesn't, that's big. I sure hope it's a trout. If it's not, it's the biggest fall fish in the state of Maryland. This is really big. It doesn't fight like a trout. I can't see what it is. I'm gonna keep good pressure on it. This is a trout, it's big. Whatever it is, it's big. I still can't see it. I don't think it's a trout. And I still can't see it, it's right in front of me. This is getting curious. What the heck is this? I cannot see this fish. My leader's at my tip, or my fly, oh yeah, and I can't see it. It is right alongside me, and I can't see it. There's no way there's catfish in this river. 
Boy, I wonder, there it is. Oh, I think it's a huge trout. It is. This is a big one, guys. Oh, look, oh, I have him hooked on the side. That's what it is. I set the hook, he missed it, it's on the side. That's why I felt, that's why he's digging like he is. But he's still beautiful. Let's see if we can get him in here quickly enough. Look at that. He's still big, but that's why the fight was so peculiar because he missed it. That's gorgeous fish. Worthy of a cell phone shot. <laughs> he was barely there. And this is another bigger brown trout. He was right on that zertle bug, and the line just, just kind of stopped. This fish is darker in color, pretty. He did eat that zertle bug. Oh, let's see if we can get him out quickly enough. Beauty. See, buddy. Well, here's the crazy thing about this turtle bug. The this part keeps pulling out from the body. The leech part. And it's hanging on the hook. And I figured that when that happened, these things were done. But what do I know? I'm not that. that. Oh, that was a take I missed. Uh, I caught him right there at the end. Just twitching it right in front of me. And I guess the zertle bug is still doing its thing. He's not that small. Just pretty. Well, this was um, a really special uh, day for me. I, uh, I really love that pool. Uh, here on the packs, had uh, approximately, I think, 12. Within the hour, once I figured them out, big fall fish or two. Kept trying different things after that. And uh, well, with the streamers, most of it worked. I came upstream, found more fish, but couldn't catch them, but that's okay. Had a great, great time. I hope that you learned something, and uh, I'm still halfway through this hike coming home. I figured I'd take a break and uh, close today's uh, video. So I hope to see you on a stream sometime soon. And as always, this is Jim from Match the Hatch Fishing, and wherever you may fish, tight lines.